Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion, we're off to the Sharps Campground, which is in Sharps Road in Lawn. Now Lawn is on the Great Ocean Road, uh, situated in the state of Victoria, Australia. My intentions now are to give you enough information about this location. So if you are venturing out to this uh, campground, you're more enlightened on what to expect. Firstly, it's totally free uh, to camp and no bookings are required. It is patrolled and maintained by Parks Victoria and the rangers do patrol this location at all hours. Uh, they do issue fines for any breach to the rules and provide a presence for safety and for advice. So if you do see them, um, wave out to them or they'll approach you and if you're not sure about something or you have any concerns, uh, they're there to also communicate or give you any information that could help you with your stay. Now, there are six marked and numbered campsites only at the Sharps Campground. Uh, no fires are allowed, no pets are allowed, unless it's a service or a seeing eye dog uh, and with documentation. Uh, no toilets, no water, no open barbecues are allowed, no electricity, so obviously you're gonna have to bring your own gas stoves. And it's really ideal for camper vans, um, kitted trailers, or those with tents, you'll need to bring all that camping gear with you. Now, approximately a nine minute walk or a four minute uh, car ride, there are nearby toilets at a place called She Oak Picnic Area, where you'll also find gas barbecues to use, picnic tables and shelter. But just note, She Oak is not a campground uh, and no camping is allowed whatsoever. Now, about a 45 minute walk or an eight minute car ride, you'll come across the Kudos Gallery and Cafe. There you can find fine art, paintings, sculptures, a toilet if you need to, uh, and a cafe with wonderful, it really has a wonderful balcony and a bushland setting serving some great food and even pizza. And just a, an hour walk or 12 minutes by car, you'll look arrive at the lawn beachfront and there you'll find the pub and the entire shopping strip and also the beach to enjoy so now the question is what can i discover at the sharps campground well firstly uh, there are koalas in the nearby area and you're pretty much guaranteed to see them as well as kangaroos providing the people who are camping are not too rowdy uh, there is a small billabong or a pond in the center of the campgrounds. Now the water is very dark in color and I believe that's due to the minerals in the soil. And you're advised obviously not to drink from it or even take a dip and especially do not use it as a toilet. Um, parrots and bird life, well, there's plenty of them. There's parakeets, lorikeets uh, and cockatoos will greet you every morning and if one of them sees you with any sort of food, you're pretty much guaranteed that flock in. Um, now also there's uh, walking and hiking trails and there's also a waterfall nearby. Now the grounds themselves are very flat, so it's ideal for tents and also obviously for uh, camper vans and their trailers if you're towing one. The other thing is there's no special vehicle that requires you to enter in this location. It is a dirt road, but I've seen little cars of all types, little Corollas, uh, coming up, uh, you don't need a four-wheel drive of any real type and it's easy accessible, great for people on motorcycles, um, but it's a, a spot that anyone can access by any type of vehicle, even if you're coming up on a bicycle, as long as you use your low gears and high gears to go up and down these uh, trails, uh, or this road I should say, uh, you'll have no problems whatsoever. If you're wondering what I'm doing here, the gimbal on the drone seems to be tilted slightly to one side and I'm trying to correct it. Couldn't do it here, had to do it at home, but it's all fixed now.
Now, just a quick note, there was some trash about when I arrived. So to me, that seems quite odd that people are coming into this natural environment uh, and not taking their rubbish with them. There, there's no trash bins here. There's no wheelie bins. There's no rubbish bins at all. So whatever you bring in, you should take out, or I believe you must take out. Um, you can take it all down the lawn. There's plenty of rubbish bins there to deposit all that sort of stuff. So as we come to the end of this video, um, if you liked it, give us that thumbs up. Please subscribe. It doesn't cost you a cent and it really does help out the channel. But most importantly, stay safe. Be aware of your actions and the consequences with those actions and commute safe. Uh, and most importantly, have a great day.